Welcome to Wisdom Exchange TV. My name is Suzanne F. Stevens, Chief Edge Optimizer for the Ignite Excellence Group of Initiatives. One of our key initiatives is the Ignite Excellence Foundation, where we invest, develop, and inspire future leaders in developing countries. With that goal in mind, we produce Wisdom Exchange TV. These women that we interview all over Africa are the trailblazers, pioneers, leaders of many in business, philanthropy, education, as well as politics. And we are with Sheila Fremantel, founder and managing director of Tensiba, created in 1985 with the purpose of improving the lives of rural women in Swaziland. Your approach to business is quite unique. Tell us a little bit about your approach and how you keep your employees engaged. Well, if it doesn't sound too cheesy, Please. it is all about love. I feel the way to do it is to put love into our products, which creates an excellence. Putting love into our work makes the staff enjoy their work. Putting love into themselves means they're happy to be here. Now, you also mentioned some of the motivational pieces. We have done motivational trainings with all our group leaders. We would send one of them to a new group. The new group, would, we would present a structure, um, rules, regulations that we have formulated with the group leaders and ask the new group if they're happy to participate in these rules. And I think this is one of Tinsaba's strengths, is that we recognize each woman as an individual and want to build them both economically, psychologically, mentally, on every opportunity. We teach the women to respect each other, to be grateful. We believe that gratitude is the beginning of development. You have a system in place that I've read about, an award system, where there's a competition. We call it the Master Weaver Competition. And out of two, three hundred basket weavers, um, only about 20 or 30 qualify as master weavers by the fineness of their technique. So what is interesting about this whole competition is those women get a, a money prize. If they, they get really good money for their basket. So it's become a career as opposed to a craft. But also these master weavers then have a status in their community and they start to be mentors. The group leaders have created a rule for us and for the woman that the group has to meet once a week under the tree where they can help each other and instill the Tinsaba core values. They do a bit of brain gym, they talk about um, the the raw material control and they also assist each other in a community driven way to improve each other's quality. So what advice would you give to women trying to figure out their purpose? Well on a level I think what Tinsaba tries to do is to work with each person and find out what their strengths are and then delegate their weaknesses or be open about their weaknesses and open about their mistakes so that we create a culture of not hiding our mistakes but being open and communicating about our mistakes or having questions. It is in the end about communication and I think that's what Africa finds important and that's also part of fair trade is don't install a decision. Make a decision with the people. Uh, the, the term they use quite often here is Ubuntu. Now as a leader, what advice would you give to leaders that manage a project or an initiative? If you could give us three pieces or four pieces of advice that women should implement. I think what my staff have brought out fairly recently to, to me, to including the core values, is that they really appreciate the discipline and the structure that Tinsaba has given them and that gives them a kind of reassurance building up these structures. Um, another thing I think... We're traveling all over Africa with our backpacks, interviewing women leaders like Sheila. So if you know somebody that we should interview, please email us at info at wisdomexchangetv.com or you can go to our Facebook fan page, Wisdom Exchange TV, and let us know there.